we will discuss about classification of synovial joints on the basis of axis of movement there are three types of synovial joints first is uniaxial joints then biaxial joints then third is multiaxial joints so there are three types of synovial joint uh, based on the axis of movement uniaxial biaxial and multiaxial first uniaxial joint that allows movement in only one axis of rotation one direction the joints permit movement in one plane only example hinge or gingivitis joint and pivot or trochoid joint hinge or gingivitis joint movement is back and forth motion like a door hinge you can see in the animation back and forth motion like a door hinge example elbow joint between upper arm bone mean humerus and fourth arm bone radius and ulna so in the animation you can see here the main movements are flexion extension then pivot or trochoid joint movement rotational movement around a central axis you can see here so this is suppose the axis okay so around the axis there is the rotational motion example atlanto axial joint between first and second cervical vertebra in the neck you can see here this is the c1 and this is the c2 so here the joint is pivot or trochoid joint biaxial joints a biaxial joint allows movement around two horizontal axis that are at right angle to each other the main movement here sir flexion extension abduction adduction circumduction but there is no axial rotation the examples are condylar joints ellipsoid joint saddle joint condylar joint structure a condyle means rounded or ovoid articular surface fits into an elliptical cavity so it is an uh, elliptical cavity so here what happened a rounded or oval shaped structure of a bone fits so this type of joint is called condylar joint so here movement is uh, similar to hinge joint but allows more movement example knee joint temporomandibular joint ellipsoid joint the joint surface is elliptical in shape one surface is elliptical fitting into a deeper elliptical cavity you can see in the diagram so it is a deeper elliptical cavity so here elliptical shape of another bone fits movement similar to condyloid joint but in an ellipse shape example a wrist joint a radiocarpal joint atlanto occipital joint then third type is saddle joint or cellar joint the opposing surface are convexo concave or saddle shaped saddle means uh, what we use on the back of the horse at the time of horse riding it is saddle shaped examples interphalangeal articulations in dog carpo metacarpal joint of the thumb and you can see the movement animation here saddle joint or cellar joint multiaxial joint the multiaxial joint also known as ball and socket joint is a type of synovial joint that allows movement in multiple direction the joints have a rounded head ball of one bone fitting into a cup like socket of another bone you can see here this is the rounded end of a bone okay it will fit into the socket of another bone this is the socket socket of another bone the rounded end fits into the socket the joints allow movement in multiple planes uh, flexion extension abduction adduction rotation 
circular movement around an axis circumduction a combination of movement that results in circular motion you can see the animation here typical example is the hip joint the femoral head ball fits into acetabulum socket of pelvis allowing movements like walking running and rotation of the leg So thanks for watching so please uh, give a like uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon